Hi, my name is Nathan Bloss. I'm a technical support engineer with Go Engineer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create macros inside of SolidWorks Electrical. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go to the View tab and turn on the Macros palette. That's the star up in the middle there. If you turn that on, over on the right menus, you can see that the stars appeared as well. This is where all of your macros will be located once we've created them. Uh, in here we have a schematic of an electrical part and this is something that we use quite often in our business and so we want to be able to use, to just drag and drop this into our, our drawings when we would like. So we're gonna highlight all of the parts that we want. This is highlighted now, we'll grab one of the highlighted parts and then just drag it over here to the macro palette. This gives us a menu to name our macro and put in some user data. Okay and hit OK. And as you can see, it's populated now in that corner there. And so it's ready for us to use anytime we want. So if we go to this drawing now, we want that part of that schematic in here. We can just drag and drop, and it's right there. This opens the Paste Special menu, and this will allow us to see all of the objects, types, the object counts, the actions that we want to do with them, and reset the manual mark. The objects are going to be like terminals, uh, any components, wires, anything like that. The count is how many is in there. The actions will allow us to determine if we want to keep the marks or, re or reset the marks themselves. Um, you can click through this option and choose per individual component if you would like um, throughout each of the tabs that are there depending on what object types are there or you can just click finish and allow the default settings to take over and just let it be pasted in there as you want. Okay, there you go. You can see we have new wire marks. Now, let's say that this is actually a drawing that we use quite often, and we want to be able to just add this drawing to uh, other projects as needed. So what we can do is we can right-click and go to Insert Project Macro. This gives us the same menu to name our macro and enter in user data. We'll name this real quick. Okay. And if we click on the document book, right click and say insert project macro, it allows you to pick between the different macros that you've created. That's the one we want. It's bringing up paste special again. You can select the different tabs that you want to go through, or you can just hit finish and accept it. There we go. As you can see, another drawing has been added, and it's the exact same as our project macro there. Now, suppose that you have a group of drawings that you want to use in different projects as well. You can create a macro of a document book. Just right-click on the book, say Create Project Macro, give it a name like before, and you've created a project macro that has all the drawings that you created there. If you click on the project itself, right click and say insert project macro, you can then insert the document book that you have made a macro of. It's going to bring up paste special as always. We want these to create all new marks. Click finish. And as you can see, we've got a second project book with all of our drawings in it. That is how you create macros within SOLIDWORKS Electrical. This has been Nathan Bloss with Go Engineer. Thank you. Have a good day.